All right, we're going to take about hopefully 10 minutes or less, and I'm going to show um, LTE Sniffer, which is this open source LTE downlink uplink uh, tool. Uh, I've shown it in the past, so you can refer to the past videos uh, on, on um, getting things set up. I'm also going to show um, Mirage and uh, some stuff with Bluetooth. I'm actually quite surprised it's, it's uh, working, and I'll explain that. Uh, but first, let's jump into this LTE uh, sniffer. And before I get going with anything, I just want to make it sure I specifically state, hey, this is to support security and analysis research of cellular networks. I'm literally reading right from the page. Um, due to the collection of uplink downlink user data, you must follow local regulations. So in this case, uh, everything that I am doing is on a uh, closed network and I own everything so my uh, my pine phone my sim card uh, we're gonna use a b205 mini as the EMB and then I have a which is probably gonna get a little noisy I have an x310 which is uh, what we're gonna use LTE sniffer with so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that on it's has two um, 10 gig uh, connections to it and I'm going to need to jump over which I was messing with earlier here this is uh, the War Dragon uh, so a small PC that I set up and just to show it can handle pretty much everything I throw at it uh, or at least so far now I am remote VNC connected so it may be a little bit slow. You can see where uh, on the EPC side of course I can see you know information about my uh, Pine phone and stuff because I control that but that's not really what we're trying to do here. I'm gonna kick off the um, ENB side and I'm going to switch back over to getting See, I'm going to switch back over to this sign, and we're going to run the LTE sniffer uh, that's within Dragon OS. Uh, with, let's see, dash A, two antennas, eight workers. There's the frequencies uh, for the downlink and the uplink, the modes, and then that dash Z is for all security um, research modes. And I'll let this start up, and we should find that this will uh, start looking at that network we're running. Now hopefully this will go kind of quick. It really just depends uh, when the MZs are uh, passed, but I'm going to turn on the Pine phone here. And so with our X310, we're looking at the uplink and downlink of our LTE network. And let's see if we can get this. Hey, yay. So Pine Phone connects. There's um, the information that we were looking for. So there you go. Pretty straightforward. Uh, obviously, there's a little bit of a setup going on here, uh, which I've covered in previous videos. So... Uh, that's about really all I wanted to show with that in Dragon OS Focal X. Uh, if you have it uh, the latest installed or if you configure uh, to pull downloads or I'm sorry updates from my uh, PPA then you will get the most recent uh, updates to LTE Sniffer which you can see was uh, pretty much as of three days ago. Alright now let's uh, turn that off and we'll quickly jump over to the other thing I wanted to show. We'll jump back over to the War Dragon. Close that out of the way. You can see where I was previously testing this. And so Mirage, you got this powerful modular framework dedicated to the security analysis of wire, wireless communications. And to really make this work, because I want to make sure it's all my own equipment, uh, I have the Blade RF XA9 hooked up, 
as well as the Ubertooth also to the War Dragon. You have Bluetooth, low energy packet sniffer, and transmitter. All right, there we go. Past it, it was right at the top. But uh, Pastly sniffs advertisements and connections new or already existing. It works with the Ubertooth One, the Hacker F, and some other devices. So let's jump right into this. So Mirage, normally I've shown um, going in and running the Mirage launcher, uh, but you could really do this in any directory. I didn't even realize it because I forgot I installed it to do sudo Mirage. You can use this type of framework um, to set things up, to see arguments, uh, so on and so forth, or after reading the documentation, surprise, surprise, you can run Mirage and set things right at the um, command line. So sniffing mode, I put new connections, interface, Ubertooth 1, and channel 37. That's just as uh, the same as if I had went in and started setting each one of these uh, individually. So I can't really explain why the Ubertooth 1 uh, in Mirage for what I'm about to show works when plugged into the the PC that is the War Dragon. I mean it's a USB 3 port. I don't get what the difference is versus my desktop and my laptop where I get some failures in LibUSB. I don't know but I'll show it while it's working here. So I'm going to do one command. It's going to load that Ubertooth and then it's going to sit there and wait for a new connection. And then what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to use in the user source BTLE directory, I've com uh, compiled this BTLE tool for both the BladeRF and the HackerF, and I've uh, created different binary names. So I'm just going to run this that is going to simulate. Well, it's going to it's going to do it for real. It's going to create a. Uh, it's going to actually transmit here, but. Uh, we're going to get as though we've got a, a new connection here. So let's see what happens. So I'll do that. I'm going to run it. We'll pay attention. Oop, let's see. Okay, now that I say that, let's see. Let's see what we get. There we go. So, I don't know, must have maybe got something that, uh, yeah, I don't know, I can't explain that. But it did, uh, and we can do it again. Let's see, we'll stop it one more time. We'll sniff that new connection between client one and client two. There we go. So, I could obviously show more. Uh, but I don't feel like blanking out all kind of um, um, information to cr uh, pull from uh, just sniffing uh, existing connections. Uh, I've, I've essentially tried all the modules that are supported by the uh, Ubertooth. And in this setup, it works. So that's pretty much it. It was just a real quick, hey, here's LTE sniffer. Here is the Mirage with the Ubertooth working. And if you refer to the uh, documentation, I'll put the links in the description. And I don't know, I guess it just really depends on the PC. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Uh, but at least on these small PCs that I'm building and making the War Dragon out of, uh, which I actually need to get at making more of them, uh, it seems to work. All right, thanks.